Hello everyone, it's me, Aqua, and today I'm in Rogue Lineage, and I'm going to be doing a full Tundra guide for you guys, to show you full Tundra. Okay, so, to start us off, um, I'm at the base of the gate right now, so to start us off, um, the recommendations for starting out going in Tundra is max mana climb, ranger armor, and a torch. Make sure the torch is lit. Alright, so first off, you're going to go straight. Uh, we're heading to Snap Tower. If you guys don't know what Snap Tower is, basically what Snap Tower is, is it's a place that you can get Snap Spells. So, and Snap Spells do different things um, from what regular spells do. For example, I'll use Snap Tenebrous, for example. Tenebrous, you, like, do a fist move, and it gives Curse Tags. Instead, this gives you, like, like these little orbs above your head, and they give you like curse stacks and stuff. All right, so this is Snap Tower. Uh, pretty much, you go straight and you climb up the big rock. If you watched it in the video, uh, there's four trinket spawn locations in this whole area here. Um, I will show you all all the spawn locations. How should I get warm? Okay. So first, to get the spawn locations, this is the simplest one. First, you go grab. There's one there. One usually there one here and then it'll be one here but sadly there's not one there at that time so those are the four trinket spawn locations and here's the guy you can talk to and he'll give you snap spells he's the guy who gives them to you and they cost i think i believe around 100 to 200 silver each and to get the snap spell you need to cast like the spells 200 something times i believe somewhere around that number all right so now we're heading to fire temple basically what you want to do is you want to head upstairs and go outside through this door and then climb on top of this little area here and then head straight. After you head straight, you'll come to a wall and you climb on the wall and then go down and then to the right. And then go straight, you'll see this little doorway, go into this doorway, and you're in Fire Temple. There's a ton of spawn locations here, so I'll show you all of them. Right, so there's one here in this corner, there'll be one in this corner, uh, there'll sh there's be one, there could be one here, I think. There's one usually here. In that little corner there. Ooh, an emerald. Nice. There's one there. There's one here. Uh, there's usually one here. And then there's always usually one here. And then I believe there could be one here and then here, obviously. So, yeah. That's it. And then basically, um, over here, in this little doorway here, if you go down here, uh, there is a area that you can fight the lava snake basically if you i this the parkour's easy just go around here climb on they get on that little ledge there and just go straight and then you'll be at lava snake um lava snake is only useful for onis but um if you're trying to kill the lava snake for the oni quest or you can um use it for trinkets which there's usually an eight in there somewhere around that number all right so afterwards you're gonna come out you're gonna go straight you're gonna go to the left and go straight. You're gonna climb up this little wall here. Climb up. You can stop, go ahead and stop. Alright, so once you're up here, you'll see this giant like tree. So keep going straight. Climb up this little wall here. Right. Alright, so here's our next location. Um up, you'll see this little cave here. Climb up the cave. And you have reached it to the ultra necromancer area. I haven't been here very much, but I know there's the armor, there's the teacher here, here's the teacher, um, and you can find some trinkets in here, like one, for example, I found a goblet there. Alright, so here's one of the, uh, ultra locations. I'll help you get your ultra. Alright. So, afterwards, you're gonna, um, climb up here. Now, for this part, I recommend you stick hard to the left. So you're going to climb down here, and you're going to come over here. If you can't make this climb, then find another way up. But yeah, you're going to climb all the way up. Be careful to stay on the left, because there's a howler spawn out there, and if you don't know what howlers are, there's these they're, they're these kind of like wolf monster creatures, and they will they will murder you. They, they don't mess around. They're scary. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and... I guess I'll lead you guys to uh, 
uh, snail next, where you get your Tundra Ranger. Basically, what Tundra Ranger is, is it allows you to climb faster, do everything faster. Tundra Ranger is amazing. I recommend getting this in Tundra, definitely. So you're gonna climb up this tree, and you're gonna climb up even more onto this little ledge here. And you're gonna go straight to the left, and then keep following this little path here. Alright, so take a right along here. Take a left, and you'll come to this little clearing. Just go straight. Alright, now this is another howler spawn we're coming up onto, so you gotta be very careful. A lot going along here. So you're gonna go straight, and you'll see these trees. You know, once you see the trees, you're in the right direction. So you're gonna go straight, and you're gonna stick to the wall. Make sure you stick to the wall. Do not move away from this wall. There's a howler spawn around here. If you trigger it, you're most you're more than likely gonna be dead unless you have um, some sort of escape plan. So stick to the left side of the wall, and then. Out here is a, a trinket spawn. A trinket spawn. A trinket can spawn in this little wheelbarrow here. Uh, it can be pretty. It can be a gem. Yeah, obviously any trinket. Um, you go here. This is uh, another location. This is Dragon's Beach Trainer. Um, yeah, he can. He teaches you Dragon Speech. If you buy Dragon Speech, you can talk to dragons, and also it allows the dragon not to attack you unless you attack it first. The only reason I would see you getting dragon speech is for the dragon trainer. Okay, so this is snail. Basically, to get in the snail, there's two um, entrances to snail. Uh, there's the chaotic door. You have to be chaotic to open this door. If you're not chaotic, you cannot get inside. Um, here's your master assassin gear. This is when you become a faceless, you can get this gear. And over here is tundra ranger. And then there can be up to four trinkets. Right here, right here, right here, right here. And sadly, there's only one. Better than nothing, I would say. Alright. So, that's pretty much it. And then, obviously, if you're, like, have a broken leg or something, there's a doctor here, too, you can talk to. Okay. That's Snail. So, now we're gonna go ahead. And this part, you need Tundra Ranger. So, follow me. So, you're gonna go out and then head to the left. And you're gonna follow me. You're gonna climb up this tree here. And you're gonna climb all the way up. And then I recommend stick hooking to the left. It makes it, it makes this little process a little bit quicker. All right. So after you're, you're on top of this little area here, we're above Snail now. Here is the other entrance. This is for the chaotic people that need to enter. You just climb down. But I recommend you be very careful when climbing down that. Otherwise, you can die, and you, or you can break something that you need, like a leg or an arm. Or, yeah. Alright, so after from this hole, you're gonna come over here, drop down this little ledge here, and you're gonna climb down. I'm leading you to the castle sink now. So you're gonna climb down. And then when you're climbing down, um, just climb down, stick to the right. You're gonna drop right here, and you're gonna climb up these little bits of pieces here, of rock. And you're just gonna follow along this path. It's forward, left, left. I think it's forward, left. Right, right, yep. Forward, left, right, right. Just follow on the path. <clears throat> um, if you need, if you need to warm up there, uh, on this path here, there's a little pit down there. You can climb down into there and get some warmth back. Okay. Okay, here we are. We're at Castle Sink. This is Castle Sink. Uh, this is where you can get your sigil helmet and most of like the uh, orderly ultra ultras, like uh, for example, Master Illusionist, an Ultra Spy. You can get a bunch of like good classes here. Um, but if you're, I would recommend only coming here if you're um, orderly. So what I recommend you do if you want to get warm and you're chaotic. Uh, I recommend putting your arm in here, and then you get warmth from it. You get warm. So I'm just going to sit here for a little bit, and maybe a little bit, and get warm. Maybe half. Okay. I'm good to go. 
Alright, so from here, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head right on back up to Snail. Then we'll go from there. Uh, our next destination is going to be Dragon Pit. And then from Dragon Pit to Lab. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and head across this path here. Okay, so I finally got back across the path. And just climb back up here like normal. Also, in Castle Saint, there's a lot of trinket spawns. Uh, when previous orderly classes, I found a phoenix down in there. So that's a very, very good location for like several artifacts. So I recommend once you see the hole, just climb down here uh, and land on this tree and just keep going down and you'll be right back at Snail. Alright, welcome back to Snail. I recommend every time you come into Snail to close this door. Close all doors so if someone does come in, you can like hear them opening the door. See, like I heard someone get a torch, their torch relit over here. I think it might be my... Oh! No way. Is that really Inferno Zoo? No freaking way. What the f I don't think- No, it can't be. Yeah, that's not the real Inferno Zoo. I got- I was gonna say, what? Yeah, I was curious- I was like, wondering there. Huh. Yeah, I got, like, whatever. Yeah, that's not the real thing. Anyway. Alright, gonna head out to Snow. Remember to stick to the right, okay? Remember to stick to the right. This is the biggest part of this. Just make sure you stick to the right. Unless you aren't sure how there's fun for you. So jump on it and then just recommend you stick to the right. Alright, remember, um, along your way back, check the wheelbarrow. Make sure there's nothing in there, so. Yeah. Alright, so. Alright, the way I remember, if I'm going the right direction, I see these two trees, like these three trees, uh, and I just go straight from here, and you'll see these little rock mounds coming up here. Okay, so once you're back up here, you're gonna take a right. I believe. Correct. No, I'm incorrect. Never mind. No, you're not. No, you're not. Forget that. So from now, you're gonna go straight. And it'll be like this little area here, just go straight, and then take a left, my fault. And then you know you're going go in the right direction if you see that little path there. Don't drop down onto the path, though. Don't do that. That's not going to lead you to Dragon Pit. Uh, there's a snow- there can be usually some snow shrooms here. So if you want some snow shrooms, there you are. Uh, the snow shrooms, they sell for four silver a piece, I believe. Um, okay, so be very careful along here. Stay to the left or stick to the right, either one. Uh, there's a howler there and a howler spawn. If you go stick to the right, you'll eventually run into a fire pit. But since I have Tundra Ranger, I'm just gonna bypass the fire pit and go straight to the um, dragon pit. I will let you know that the dragon pit has ear rape and it hurts very bad ears start to hurt after a while. Alright, here's another thing I recommend. Don't walk along that bridge. Don't do it. I definitely recommend don't doing that. If that bridge breaks on you and you fall down, you're going to end up breaking a leg. Oh, someone triggered the howler spawn. I'm going to make this quick. Okay, so from here, you, uh, you can circle around full dragon pit and there's usually some trinkets out here. There can be some trinkets. So around here, like, I, I found some trinkets, yeah, they're all over the place, they can be everywhere around here. I definitely recommend searching this place for trinkets, it's one of the best spots. But for now, I'm actually going to log from the server and get into a different one, because I heard of Howler spawn go off, so. Uh, you may not be able to see anything, 
which I guess hopefully it's fine. I uh, will be into another server shortly. Going to a low server so I don't get attacked. Okay, I'm going into a low server now. Hopefully you should be able to see my Roblox. There you go. Alright. Okay. So from here. Alright. Now from here I'll show you how to find some trinkets. So yeah, from basically from Dragon Pit all around, there's tons of trinkets. You can find tons, and I mean a lot. Like, I found maybe 12, 13, and I started before. Which is quite a bit. Alright, so now from here, you're gonna go up. And also, the dragon spawns here. Be careful for the dragon. Um, the dragon's only really used for bounce shakers and, um,. The dragon slayer stuff. So what I recommend you do is if you want like two extra trinkets, you can climb on top of this little part, and then there can be like two trinkets up here. I have never found three, so. Uh, but I recommend you go around so you can reach this path here. There's just, all right. So basically, what you're gonna do is you can get up, and you'll notice the other end of the bridge. Go straight, and then to the back, to behind. And it just goes straight from here. Alright. So basically when you're um, at the end, you be confronted by this wall. Climb along the wall and head straight to the right. And you'll see this little uh, hole. And this is uh, the lab fire pit here. Now, for this part, I definitely recommend if you if you came here without Max Climb, I don't know how you got this far, but uh, I would definitely recommend Max Climb for this part. Max part. So if you climb down here, there's this little ledge here you can get on. There's usually at least one trinket right there. I recommend you climb along the walls and like avoid these little blue moss, purple moss plants, and then land on this block right here, this little block here, and then just start climbing down. Uh, there's tons of like ledges. That you can stand on if you run out of climb, but I mean, it makes it quicker if you have max climb, of course. Since, yeah, all right. So, once you get to the bottom, um, there'll be this little hole in the wall here. Just go through this hole, and you made it to lab. And then, from lab, you there's going to be a little bit of trinkets here. There can be none, there can be some, there can be a good amount. Uh, there's nothing dangerous in here, but what I do recommend you do is not talk to this guy. Well, like, if unless you want to become a, uh, a construct. And yeah. And you can become a construct. Basically, constructs are like, you know, a unlockable race. Uh, they're pretty good, I would say. Pretty darn good. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good race, uh, but you have a chance to die if you, I believe, yeah, you have a chance to die if you fail it. So I recommend you come here, look like a alternate account or something and do it, and not your main, unless you want your main to be a construct and, I mean, be my guest and go right on ahead, but I would recommend it, honestly. So you can climb back out, and then from here, um, I'm gonna head back to Fire Tree. So this is gonna be a long run, most likely. And then I'm gonna show you the chaotic side of everything, which is a very useful part. Oh, whoa, myself. Okay, so uh, climb down here. I recommend being very careful on these parts. Yeah, see, like that, you can glitch off and stuff. So I recommend being very careful. Okay, so from here I'm going to run back to uh where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and run back to Fire Tree. So I guess I'll tell you another I guess I'll show you guys how to get back to Fire Tree from here. Alright, 
so from here, I recommend you get if you want to get warm back up, you can get warm back up. I'm not because I know this place by heart. So yeah. Alright, so that's pretty much Dragon Pit and Lab. Two of the best places to get uh, trinkets for selling. I mean, just look at my inventory. And you run Tundra maybe like 10 or 20 times, you'll get like all of this. Like Tundra is amazing for farming trinkets. So basically, uh, to get out of the Dragon Pit area, go straight, you'll see a tree. You'll see this big tree. Basically, just climb up this little ledge here, right? And then once you climb up this ledge, you can go straight, and then you just start climbing up into the left. Remember that big giant crystal right there, because that big giant, oh, yeah, wow, look at that. Two snow streams. All right, and you'll see a big giant crystal there. Just keep going up, and then to the left. You'll see several little ledges here that you're going to climb. Don't climb all the way to the top uh, because that will lead you to the wrong direction. Remember that I said you'll see a path along here? That's that's your way. All right, so back to fire tree. If you want to get back to fire, the fire tree, just go straight, and then you'll start to remember this little pathway that I led you on before when we were coming to snail. Yeah, so yeah, just remember that. And you climb down here, and then there you go. And you'll have a, you'll be at Fire Tree from here. And then obviously you can go back to Fire Temple, go to Ultra Necromancer, do whatever you want, you know. Um, but remember, be careful for the Howler spawn over that way. Don't run into that. It it sucks a lot. All right. So basically, now this is uh, the other half. You climb up and you go down to the left. All right, basically you'll see this little pathway here, this long pathway, go across it. And then once you're here, you're gonna go down even more. And remember to stay to the left. Now you'll see these little big piles of rocks over here. Careful, there is a howler spawn around here. Run in here and you'll meet Sick Boy. Talk to him. He does a bunch of stuff. He'll, yeah. There's a brewer brewer in here. Like you can brew potions. You can do whatever you want here. All right. So from here, um, you wanna climb up. You wanna climb up and then to the left. Now for this next part, I'm um, coming. You're going to need Tundra Ranger and Max Mana Climb most likely. All right, so go to the right and go straight, and you'll meet this like end part here. Now here's now here's the part where you need to climb. You're gonna climb. You're gonna climb up. Wait, hold on. You're climb up and then to the left. You'll be on this little ledge here. Now there's three there's three significant locations here that you're gonna need. Um, go down here. You already know who that's gonna be. It's a big hoss. The only armor's in there. And here's a fire pit to warm yourself back up. Alright, so here's another significant, lo significant location. Go straight from here and down. You'll be at the Solon place to get your Solon sword if you have enough for that. I just recommend bringing people because I believe there are shriekers in there. I've never actually been inside there before, so... I think there's also trinket spawn locations there too. Now, um, what I recommend, there can be some scrim, snow scrims here. You can see a bunch of them here. Wow. Now, what I recommend you do is stay to the right. Like, I mean, stay to the right. And then here is Anebrius. This is the guy who, I'm not going to specify what he does, but he does stuff. You can obviously look at the Trello if you want. All right. So I recommend, like I said, stick to the right. If you do trigger the howler spawn out there, just climb up. So from here, you're going to go up and just keep going up. We are going to the, uh, what's it called? The, um, Yeti. So you're going to climb up and you'll see this like little snow patch here. Just keep going up. This is, this is the high part. This is the high up part. And you're gonna go straight. And 
and you're gonna climb down from here. So pretty much up, over, and down. Pretty much is what you're doing. This is a long drop, so I recommend you have max line for this. Max line for everything. Don't go to the left, go to the right, go straight. You'll see this little pathway kind of thing here. And then once you get to this like long area, hit a hard left and go straight. And then you'll see these two little cave entrances. Go in either one, they both lead to the same area, as you see here. And then go straight. Come on, from here. I'm not sure what's going I'm not I'm not sure what goes on that way. I have never went that way and I'm not going to. But here is the big yeti um yeah but i think there's a myth that if you attack the little yeti uh oh yeah if you attack the little yeti um the mama yeti will kill you i'm pretty sure but another thing you can do is you there's she there's an item she gives to you like that's pretty pretty useful for later on Sometimes, like, I think the Mama Yeti's kind of glitched right now. I don't know why she does, like, does this floating weird thing. It's kind of weird, but, yeah. Keep on moving. Yeah, and she'll give you a strange feather for free. It's completely free. Um, you can have it. And it's used for something. I won't specify what it's used for. But it's used for something pretty freaking cool. Alright, so there's a fireplace here if you want to get warm also. Alright, now I'm going to take you to Sanctum Spear. Um, if you go straight from Yeti and go to the right, you'll see this little passage right here. Go. You're going to enter through here. And then just go straight. Just go straight. It's all forgotten Sanctum. Voices echo from this deep cave. Forgotten cave or whatever. Go straight. And just keep going straight. there it is the sanctum sphere don't fall from here please god don't and then from here you can become a church knight do your deep knight mess whatever whatever you want to do from here it's very recommended to become a church knight because church i like church knight it's a pretty neat class in my opinion anyway i'm not sure if you'll like it but i like it so um okay so I'm gonna get my warmth back up. Pretty much, there's one more location I have to show you, then that's pretty much it for Tundra. Alright, so from here to Tund- from here, you're gonna go out. You're gonna go out of this cave. You're gonna hit a hard left and then climb straight up from here. You're gonna go straight. And then right there is Shadow. His name's Faceless One. Here, I'm not quite sure what's over here. I don't recommend you come this way, just for the fact that it's. I, I don't know. I think that's another entrance, like ton. Uh, not to sure what. It's another entrance to Castle Sank, I believe, somewhere around there. But yeah, from here you can climb back down. You can go back in and get your warmth. Uh, that's the faceless one trainer, faceless trainer. I don't know why he has like a church knight helm. But hey, we can roll with it, right? <laughs> Alright. How long has this video been going on? This is almost a 30 minute video. Oh. Alright, so I'm warm. So, now I'll teach you how to get back from here. It's, it's quite easy, honestly. Or 
recommend having agility while going out here. Honestly. Agility does a lot. But, I mean, if you don't have agility, then it doesn't really matter, matter, but, I mean, it's useful. Alright, remember you're gonna see these little snow patch th looking things here? They look different from the regular rock. Just climb up these. Remember that. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough time for that. And see, this is exactly why, like, I definitely recommend you bring, like, bone regrowth and stuff out here, just in case stuff like that happens. But lucky I didn't break a bone, I just got pretty low on health, but I'll hopefully regen back up to my normal HP. Alright, so you're gonna go, remember you go up and over. Remember not to trigger the Howler spawn when you, when you get back to Inebrius. Oh wow, I actually almost, I actually could have ran into that freaking Aller spawn. Huh, okay. Lucky it didn't trigger, lucky it was glitched. Alright, I recommend you get warm. And if you trigger the Aller spawn, just go up here. back up if you need it which I do need so all right and you go straight remember remember this part you go straight to the left and then back down to the right and then you'll be back at sick guy the sick boy pretty much you'll be pretty much back at that location Probably is easier ways to get to um, dif the different areas, but that's probably the most easiest way I've found, like to get to the different areas. That's the recommended method I have because you can. There's so many fire pits along the way; it's quite easy. So if you climb up here, there's a lot more of trainers that I can show you, but some like there's like and like some quests I can show you, but I'm not going really to show you those. I'm showing you mainly like. A good trinket farming kind of method thing but I uh, the recommended trinket farming method I recommend is um, go to fire temple snap tower um, or then fire tree remember go up right here and then you'll be back at fire tree but then go to, then like once your fire tree go to snail and then from snail you can go like dragon pit and all that and you can go to the good locations Alright, then from here you can go back down to uh, the fire temple if you really want. Go back down. You just remember to stick to the right, you know, eventually make it back to fire temple. Fire Temple, and you can go up and over to Snap Tower. And from Snap Tower, you just go straight, and you'll be back at the regular spawn area. So I'll show you that. And then that's pretty much it for Tanjira. Which, like I said, Tanjira really isn't the hardest thing to navigate. If it really isn't, Tanjira's easy. You just gotta memorize the locations. But if you have a bad memory, then I mean, I would understand. Like, yeah, but it's not difficult. I accidentally activated Bane, my fault.
head. It's probably gonna hurt one of you guys' ears. God, scary. Good God, I hate Bane, man. Like, it's such a good move, but like, it's so scary when you activate it on accident. It scares the crap out of you. Alright, so you're gonna come out the other side on the first floor, and then just come out. And then pretty much just head straight. You're gonna head straight. Go down. And so make sure you're not to fall off. I fell off here and broke a bone one time because I was super low HP. Yeah, you can come down here. And you can climb up and over Ors Fall to get back out of Tantra. And boom, here's the gate. And that's pretty much it. That's that's tundra for you, right? That's tundra right there for you. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped out a lot. And yeah, that's tundra for you guys. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.